Nissan. Hola amigos! I made some earlier videos about CarPlay in the Nissan Qashqai, but as I received a lot of questions about these videos, I decided to make a new dedicated video. Welcome to this video! <music> right here as I'm filming with my phone now and I have no cable attached that is because I'm using a CarPlay dongle to make my Wi-Fi wireless but I get really a lot of questions about these dongles so in this video I will speak about the different one I used and their pros and cons if you would like to skip directly to one of the chapters please feel free to in the video description so one of the most asked questions is, can I have wireless CarPlay in my car? The answer is yes, if you already have wired CarPlay. If you do not have wired CarPlay, and I insist, if you do not have wired CarPlay, it is impossible to have wireless CarPlay. For your Qashqai or x it is really simple to say, if you do not have an SD card slot, your connect system is compatible with CarPlay, but it is wired and you can use the dongle to make it wireless. If you have an SD card slot, you have the older version without CarPlay, without Android Auto, and it is not possible to have CarPlay. There, the only way to have CarPlay will be to replace the entire system. There are great solutions available that are almost plug and play. There are tons of YouTube videos about the that and how to do it it isn't that complicated you just have to have the nerve to open everything up but even if it is a little bit scary in the beginning it is really easy to do if you do not want to remove the existing unit you can also use additional units i will make a video about one of those later on and then you can just ignore the existing system and use your carplay on a separate device now then for the different dongles i used which one is best well that's up to you guys uh, what do you like so on my first device the ekai dongle it worked almost perfectly all the time i only had audio troubles once or twice where i couldn't make a cone fall at all but after a couple of months of usage i had problems with my, my navigation audio uh, couldn't be set separately from the music audio so if I change the audio it changed for everything and I had to reboot the complete connect system and in the latest months I had also problems where my connect system just rebooted completely on itself so not ideal of course and then I performed an update but I was stupid I did the update on the CarPlay USB port itself and I only read afterwards that you can't do this, you have to put it on a normal USB port and after that it never worked again. So I couldn't make it work. Normally I tried new updates, I tried factory resets, nothing worked. So I quite messed up that CarPlay dongle. Then I tried the small Ekai dongle with, with RGB colors, a really nice small device, also cheap. It is just plug and play as well. You should check if you have enough space into your car play USB port as it is a little bit larger. That device works really perfectly when it's detected. And I insist when it's detected. I noticed on my Qashqai that the connect system seems to start up a little bit slower than the Eki dongle. And it makes that the connect system doesn't always see the connection. So when you check USB connection, you have nothing. And when you unplug and replug the dongle it detects it straight away so i figured out that the eki dongle starts up as soon as you unlock the car and the connect system doesn't and it makes that they miss each other so for me it wasn't a big problem as the car usb port is just in the center armrest right there so i could replug it even while driving and then afterwards it worked perfectly but of course it is annoying that you have to do this every time when you drive off. If you only stop for a short amount of time, it isn't a problem and the dongle stays live and your connect system seems to stay live as well. So then it works straight away. So I only had a problem when I parked the car for longer time. 
This could however be a problem if you have another car like Volvo that has the CarPlay port all the way in the glove box, then it can be a hassle to replug it while driving. So consider this when you buy this device, but it is a cheap solution. It works when it detected correctly. So up to you. The device I use right now is a little bit more expensive. It's the Auto ABC Mini IA box. So the AI, there's no artificial intelligence. I may reassure you, but they give it its name because you can install some applications on it. I use it for a couple of months now and it works really nice. It is a little bit more expensive. I paid uh, almost 80 euros for this device, but the big difference is that it has an um, Android system on itself. So that makes it, it works always directly as it should. It starts up in its Android mode. In all these months, I only had it once or twice that it wasn't detected by my Connect system. And I think that is a Connect system problem and not a dongle problem. So this only seems to happen when the phone stays connected to CarPlay but you park the car. So park the car on a parking lot, quick go into the supermarket for instance, you come back and this happens. Not all the time, but from time to time, you can see it tries to connect every several minutes, but after all, it can't connect at all. You still can navigate to the other menus though, but CarPlay won't work. The only way to make it work again is replug your CarPlay dongle and you can see it disconnects CarPlay and then it will start CarPlay again automatically and the phone will end up connecting itself. So you can see CarPlay just popped up here and as you see the Android screen that means that the device rebooted completely. So now it's in the Android menu and now speed play will pop up as well. As I said it to auto boot, there you go. And it will try to connect the phone. There you go. And we're up and running again. So here I am in the settings itself. You can see I have YouTube and I even have Netflix on it. The image is really great. I was quite blown away about this solution. So this dongle always starts up correctly. It takes some time, think about between five or 10 seconds to have my car play visible. Sometimes I have it directly, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. All depends if the dongle has to start and read completely or not. So I didn't really figure out when that is. Even when I park the car longer times, sometimes I directly have my car play, sometimes it has to restart and read completely, but still I have all my options. I still experience some connection loss from time to time. I just get the message that it lost connection, but it reconnects automatically within two or three seconds. So that isn't really a problem. For me, this dongle works the best. It is the most expensive, of course, but it is the most reliable. It is the most versatile as well. But here again, it isn't perfect. If you really need a perfect, flawless solution that never bugs, well, there's only one solution and that is use the wired solution. If you don't mind that you have some connection troubles from time to time, this is a great solution. But as I said, it's a little bit more expensive but it also works with CarPlay and Android Auto. So if you have both telephone models, this is a great solution for you. If you just want the cheapest wireless CarPlay, then I would advise to take an Ekai dongle. Those are cheap, plug and play, but you can experience some connection uh, issues, but if you don't mind to plug it in manually, so why not? So I hope this little video helps you out a little bit better. If you still have some questions, don't hesitate. Use the comment section for this and I will be happy to answer your questions. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye bye.